The continuation of the impeachment trial of the Honorable Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Renato C. Corona, is hereby called to order, and we shall be led in prayer by Senator Loren Legarda. Panginoong may kapangyarihan, kami sumasamo sa inyo na may kababaang loob upang mabiyayaan ng karunungan, pag-unawa at lakas ngayon at sa mga darating na araw. Lubos kami nagpapasalamat sa inyong paggabay sa aming pagdinig sa kaso ng punong maestrado. Panginoon, inaalay namin sa inyo ang panahon na aming ginugugol sa pagganap ng aming tungkulin. Basbasan niyo po kami ng kaliwanagan ng isipan upang sa huli ay maibigay namin ang patas at nararapat na kapasyahan. Amen. The Secretary will not just call the roll of uh, Senators. The Honorable Senator Judges Angara, Arroyo, Cayetano Alan Peter Compañero, Cayetano Pia, Defensor Santiago, Drilon, Ejercito Estrada, Escudero, Gingona, Honasan, Laxon, Lapid, Ligarda, Marcos, Osmeña, Pangilinan, Pimentel, Recto, Revilla, Soto Trillanes Villar, the Senate President. With uh, 16 senators, uh, judges present, the presiding officer declares the presence of a quorum. Is that the floor leader? Mr. President, may I ask the Sergeant at Arms to make the proclamation? The Sergeant at Arms is directed to make the proclamation. All persons are commanded to keep silent under pain of penalty while the Senate is sitting in trial on the articles of impeachment against Chief Justice Renato C. Corona. Dr. Floor Leader. Mr. President, I move that we dispense with the reading of the March 22, 2012 Journal of the Senate sitting as an impeachment court and consider the same as approved. Is there any objection? There be none. The March 22, 2012 Journal of the Senate sitting as an impeachment court is hereby approved. The Secretary will please call the case. Case number the as an impeachment court. 0022011 in the matter of impeachment trial of Honorable Chief Justice Renato C. Corona. Appearances. May we ask the respective councils to um, enter their appearances for the prosecution? Good afternoon, uh, Mr. President and uh, honorable members of the Senate. For the House of Representatives prosecution panel, same appearance. We are ready, Your Honor. Noted. Uh, the defense? For the defense, Your Honor, the same appearance. Noted. We are ready, Your Honor. Noted. Uh, the floor, Mr. President, before the business for the day, um, there were three. There were three motions that were uh, decided on by the caucus. So uh, may I be allowed, with the permission of the court, uh, yes. what to are start the motions? On. Yes, the first one is a letter of uh, DOJ Secretary De Lima and reply of the Senate. Um, in her letter to the Senate President, dated March 22, 2012. DOJ Secretary Elijah for her failure to comply with the subpoena issued by the court, which uh, directed her to testify and bring certain documents before the court last March 22. Secretary De Lima added that while she is willing to appear before the court, she also requested that her further appearance be dispensed with since the matters on which she is being asked to testify on by the defense have already been covered by her direct testimony when she appeared as witness for the prosecution or that such matters should have been brought up by the defense during their cross-examination of her. Acting on her request for discharge, the presiding officer in a letter dated March 27, 2012 informed Secretary De Lima 
that in the interest of justice and fair play, counsel for Chief Justice Corona should be similarly afforded the opportunity to raise direct examination questions in defense of their client, just as the House of Representatives, uh, House of uh, House panel of prosecutors were afforded the same opportunity to propound direct examinations questions to her. On May 4, 2012, the prosecution filed a motion to quash the subpoena, contending that the defense has been previously afforded the chance to cross-examine Secretary De Lima and to their questions for two days. The prosecution also claims that to recall Secretary De Lima will be violative of her rights and would be unfair to the prosecution and the court as it will unduly lengthen the proceedings. With that, Mr. President, and as agreed in the caucus, I move that the presiding officer rule on the matter. The uh, subpoena requested by the defense uh, is based on uh, their notion that uh, they want to present the Secretary of Justice as their own witness, although she was, she was presented by the prosecution uh, and she was subjected to a cross-examination, the uh, appearance uh, of this uh, not on, at the behest of the, the defense. And so therefore, given the fact that uh, the respondent is entitled to compulsory process uh, to set up his defense, uh, the motion is denied. The motion to this is denied. And uh, the defense is directed to confer with the Secretary of Justice so that you can determine the date and time when uh, she will have to be uh, asked to appear in this court to uh, be presented as a witness for the defense. So ordered. Next, we have a motion. Yes, Mr. President, the, the court also is in receipt of a manifestation and request filed on April 24, 2012 by spouses Rodel and Amelia Rivera. A subpoena ad testificandum et duces tecum was earlier issued by the court upon the request of the defense, commanding Mr. and Mrs. Rivera to appear and testify on March 20, 2012, and every day thereafter until discharged. The spouses Rivera requested that they be excused from attending the hearings from May 5 to May 27 in view of their trip to the United States, which which had been scheduled long before they received the subpoena. The Riveras further manifested that they are ready to attend the hearings and comply with the subpoena after they returned from their trip. Mr. President, we have been previously informed that the defense is willing to forego with their testimony. Would, uh, uh, is, uh, can the defense, uh, will, will the defense, uh, defense please uh, confirm this for the record? If they will not, if you run place, if they will not be available by the time granted by this honorable court, we may dispense with their testimony and present and present somebody else who will testify on the same subject matter. For instance, your honor, we have in mind introducing the broker who effected the sale between the coroners and the and oh. these uh, witnesses, your honor. All right, the manifestation of the chief defense counsel is not. Thank you, Your Honor. Next uh, Mr. President. motion. Yes, finally, uh, uh, Mr. President, on March 16, 2012, Counsel for Chief Justice Corona asked that this court issue a subpoena ad testificandum et duces tecum to Malu Mangahas, Paul Ann Ilagan, and the cameraman, men, crew, all of the PCIJ, for them to testify and bring copies of the Sal ends and all other documents, letters, and requests related or pertinent to the various news reports posted in the PCIJ website. The defense submits that the testimony and documents asked is for the purpose of disproving any alleged willful omission of the entries in the Chief Justice's Sal ends and to show good faith in um, filling up the same. The prosecution on March 19, 2012, filed its opposition to the request on the ground that the testimonies and documents sought are patently irrelevant. On March 21, 2012, 
Malumangahas, Carol Ann Ilagan, and Ed Lingao by council filed their opposition praying 